Well, the demand for the coronavirus vaccine has outpaced the supply, and that is leading to some frustration for seniors who are now trying to sign up tonight. Medical reporter Meg Ferris has new information while clearing up some of those problems. Scott and Mary Goodwin know how to execute a mission. Both are retired Army officers. Mary commanded the country's bomb squads. Getting a coronavirus vaccine is their new mission. But over and over and over at different places, obstacles. So at this point, I'm out of control. This is, <laughs> this is just not right. One of his many frustrations, the state-designated pharmacy in Covington, is Oxner's. They are not Oxner patients and were turned away. How, how can you discriminate like that? And she says, that's just what we're doing. Oxner's Tuesday statement confirmed vaccinations are only for their patients. The state health department tells us that is not allowed. All people 70 and older are eligible. Wednesday, Oxner Health said it caught that error and fixed it. Their senior patients will get a notice to sign up at an Oxner hospital facility. That is only open to patients. But at their pharmacies, all seniors can. With several high-risk health problems, Mary is anxious for the vaccine. I was um, very happy to be looking forward to getting the vaccine so that my chances of survival were increased. Scott wants one to protect his wife. They've been home alone for all the holidays. They're yearning to hold their grandchildren. It's just not right. So, that's why we want to get vaccinated. Scott considers his senior neighbors his soldiers. He's helping them sign up. Many don't have a computer. His military heart still pulls him to protect others. The VA tells us they have a hotline for veterans wanting the vaccine. The state is encouraged by the demand. They're enrolling more pharmacies, and this weekend we'll know which ones will get the next batch. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.